Okay, I have returned. All right. Okay, I'll go away. All right. Is this how I walk into the final battle? Honestly, though, no, that's way too useful. Shh. We're very stealthy. All right, Veronica, where you at? We're okay on Stimpaks. Medex reserves empty. Oh, shit. What's up? You're making me carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? Uh, there's a, yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Look at that. But if it wasn't armless, it would be cool. Desert Ranger gym for rat gear because it looks cool. Current outfit is banger. What's yep. Okay. Okay. All right, let's do this. Are we being watched? All right. Are you ready to head for the dam? Caesar's Legion is due to attack at any moment. Earlier. I'm ready to go to the dam. Great. So I've been looking over Mr. House's force projections and running some calculations. It turns out there's only one way for us to win this battle and make it stick. We have to render Hoover Dam inoperable. Is that is this because I didn't upgrade the army of Securitrons under Caesar's Fort? Well, the problem is that's left us with enough Securitrons to drive off a weakened NCR force. Probably, but not enough to keep them from coming back. So what we do is take away the whole reason why they'd want to come back. Smart, huh? You want me to destroy Hoover Dam? Not the whole thing, thank goodness. That'd be really hard. All you have to do is destroy the power generators. Without the generators, Hoover Dam's just a big bunch of concrete. Take this override module. It's just like the one you used at the El Dorado substation. Install the override module on the terminal and the power control room. I'll disable the generator fail-safes and you can do the rest. Good luck! See you at the dam. Let's do this. You must get to the control room and install the override ship. See, so it seems you kind of do Mojave. Oh, darn. Uh -oh. Woo! Oh. Bop. Good. Sneaking done. 
fighting now. Bap. Mission of hostilities complete. You know what? No. Okay. And uh, since I was talking about it, Let's fucking dance. God damn it. Uh I'm not even going to bother looting. Let's go. Uh -oh. Hey, boomers. Send him over. We good? Yeah, don't care. Fighting over. Wait, where the fuck is it? Am I completely brain dead?
army of Securitrons. So, go ahead and blow up the dam's generator. And when that's done, head back upside and finish off the Legion and the NCR. Gotcha. Don't need to go in here. Need to swing around. Would you believe I've never actually done this uh, ending? You have made a terrible idea. Ready, steady, fighting. You really should stop firing at me. I. T the barrel was in his nostrils. I kind of love it. All right, let's go. <laughs> Ooh. Damn. It's going to take more drugs. Hmm? Yeah. Flap their heads. Ooh, wild wasteland. Time to fight. Just like last time. Bat. Time to fight. Oh. Okay. Couple things of Yagwai meat. Steady. Slasher.
Bop. Was that all? Anyone else? <laughs> Hostilities complete. Head to the Legends camp and deal with the Legate in Caesar's Legion. Oh, let's. Yes, let's do that. Knock, knock. Oh, you sorry, you ain't going anywhere. Fighting now. Sorry. Was that all? All the drugs. Black. I'm an insane person with a rocket. With a an, an invisible man with a rocket launcher. Sneaking done. Fighting now. Reprisal! Come on. Bring your reprisals. Well, I'd hope so. Was that all? All right. <laughs> Let's go. Ready, steady, fighting. All right, is he up here? Really? Hi. Up we go. Do you like me? Aw. Uh. Bad guys dealt with. Hello. And who are you? Come before me. You don't bear the mark of the bear, yet you are ready for battle. Maybe you're willing to listen to reason. Yeah, the man who has cracked out on like eight different types of drugs. I see you fight with words, like all beneath the flag of the bear. Let us hope your skill with weapons proves greater. This battle is decided. That's why I am here. 
So you see quarter? Terms of surrender? Our roads into NCR are hung with the bodies of those who attempted to negotiate with us. Save your speeches. We will take Hoover Dam and move forward until our feet crush the setting sun beneath them. Move forward. The Legion spent years trying to take Hoover Dam. Hoover Dam has never seen the mass strength of the East. Only legates such as Graham, who deserve the fire Kaiser blessed him with. Now I am here, and make markers of your people as the Legion carves its way west. And then what of the East? You speak in circles. What of the East? I am the East, and I will prove it this day. If you need all the East to crush the West, the victory here shall be swift. Our forces shall take the dam, secure it, then build a road west on the bodies of the NCR. The east will hold. Once across the Colorado, nothing to rival Hoover Dam remains. It is not the strength of the west that will slow you. It is their weakness. Your weakness? You seek to thwart me by claiming the Legion is too strong for you? NCR's weakness is its size. It'll take your entire army to hold the West. That does not mean we would not succeed. Eventually, but moving your whole army West means losing the East. You can't hold both. The East was a hard-fought campaign. Even now, Kaiser drew too much of the Legion's blood needed there for this. Hoover Dam is but a place. I will not have it be the gravestone of the Legion, whether quickly, or as you describe, slowly, by attrition. There is victory in wisdom, Legate. As for wisdom, there is wisdom in your words, man of the West. Know that I shall return east. I shall not remain there forever. On that day, the strength of the bear shall be tested. If the West is one day filled with ones such as you, perhaps it shall be a worthy fight indeed. If, if you feel that war matters that much, perhaps you will see differently in time. My coming would have saved you, set your people free in ways they cannot see. War would have tested them, broken the weak with its violence, yet allowing the strong to arise. Violence gave you that strength, awakened you. I can see it upon your face, where two bullets left their mark. Perhaps it is unfortunate Wolpex was not here to hear your words. Something tells me you would prove more than his match. Until the day when our armies meet again, Courier. I shall wait for you on the battlefield. Yeah. Alright. Max out survival. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh, hello. Pineapple and salt's pretty tasty. Sup? Caesar on the cross. Been a long time since I've seen the kind of work you've laid down today. A damn long time. And the screams of those Legion bastards as they kick dirt running east like a choir of angels to my ears. Speaking of, that crazy light show over the fort? What the fuck was that? Some kind of thumb of God you called down? Amazing. Fucking amazing. Could use a hundred of you. Just scatter you over the east like jacks. Give those plum fucks the what for. Hold that thought, General. I want to introduce you to some friends. And, um, well, <laughs> these, uh, these boys with you? 
Hello there, Smiley. Guess it ain't no secret how you, uh, I say, can you ask them to put their weapons down? I was just reaching in my coat to give you a cigar. General Oliver, Hoover Dam is ours. Leave it once. I would sooner spit on the grave of my dead mother than let some courier walk the wasteland fuck talk to me like that. Who the hell do you think you are? Looking to cash your chips to the sound of NCR bullets, huh? I can oblige. Are you sure that's wise? Look, I know you're riding high right now, but let me tell you, you ain't pissing on me right now. You're pissing on the bear. You've been far enough west, I'm guessing, to know how far that claw stretches. Fuck with the bear and... How about I ask these robots to fuck you and your entire battalion with a rocket barrage? You want me to make tracks out of here? Head back west? Tail between our legs? No. I came for a fight today. And if you're looking to make me budge, you better have a damn good left hook or I'm not going anywhere. Speech on yes. Because you're talking and not attacking. Yeah. But I wasn't expecting a fight when I came up here. And now that we're talking, I don't like the sound of things. Do you know what you're doing? Making a nation like you think you're doing ain't like chowing down on a pile of fancy lad snack cakes. Think you got the guts to carve out a frontier? Build towns, protect the roads, run supplies, train troops? I guarantee I put more thought into the state of the Mojave than you or anyone in NCR. <sighs> Hell, can't believe we got suckered by some road jockey. Should have watched the flank while Caesar's best was making all that noise. I know what those robots of yours can do on a bad day. And I'm not eager to toss lies at them just to make a point. But if you're taking this place, you better hope you can hold it. I'll give my superiors my opinion, but I don't think they're going to listen. So if NCR comes at you, and it will, pray you're ready. I promise you, our situation's reversed, I'd see you hang. That day's not likely to come, General. Fine. Come on, men. We're moving out. What's up? You did a super job wrapping things up. And I'm not just saying that because I have to. I didn't want to make a big deal about this until after we won, but... Well, I found some code snippets in one of Mr. House's data banks that will let me, um, reprogram my personality. To be a little more assertive, basically. Okay. So that's what I'm going to be doing. And it's going to take me a while, so it'll seem like I'm offline. But don't worry. Everything will be okay. I've updated the Securitron's targeting parameters, so they know what to do. Vegas will be protected. So that's where I'll be. Off making a few changes. And I... I guess I'll see you around. We accomplished a lot together. It was fun. Take care. Hey. So the courier who had cheated death in the cemetery outside Good Springs cheated death once again, and the Mojave Wasteland was forever changed. The courier, with the aid of Yes Man, drove both the Legion and the NCR from Hoover Dam, securing New Vegas's independence from both factions. With Mr. House out of the picture, the remaining Securitrons on the Strip were hard-pressed to keep order. Anarchy ruled the streets. When the fires died, New Vegas remained, assuming its position as an independent power in the Mojave. Supporting the ideals of independence, the courier was recognized as the man responsible for a truly free New Vegas. Hell yeah. He ensured Mr. House's tyranny was broken, and neither Caesar's Legion nor NCR would ever gain control over New Vegas. Tabitha and Rhonda went east through Caesar's land. Occasionally, tales of their exploits found their way back west, though few believed them. Eventually, the stories concerning the duo were collected and published, 
and proved to be quite popular with children. Still grappling with self-doubt over his usefulness in the face of old age, Raul was never able to find peace with himself. Mm. Eventually, he left the Mojave and assumed a new name as he had done so many times before. Though the wasteland became anarchic after Hoover Dam, the boomer's display of power dissuaded fortune seekers from attempting to penetrate Nellis. Their leaders destroyed by the courier, the fiends scattered throughout the wasteland. Ah. Without the organization of Motor Runner, Cook Cook, Violet, and Driver Nephi, they were easy prey. After the courier ensured New Vegas remained free, the followers found that independent Vegas was even more unstable and violent than before. Old Mormon Fort became excessively burdened by the influx of patients, struggling to provide even the most basic of services. With New Vegas's independence formally declared, Good Springs thrived. More travelers stopped by Good Springs on their way to and from the Strip, and the locals grew prosperous from the traffic. Cass lived to see the courier bring down three armies, and by her count, that was three more than she'd expected. She kept quiet about that, though. Thanks to the courier and Lily, a cure for the Nightkin schizophrenia was found shortly after Dr. Henry's experiment concluded. Nightkin and other super mutants in the wasteland flocked to Jacobstown, and the town became known as a haven where a mutant could find peace. Lily continued to take her medicine at half doses, and although she remembered her grandchildren, her mind remained muddled and confused. Eventually, she parted ways with the courier and traveled west, seeking the remnants of her past. The kings retained their control of Freeside, and while they continued to favor the needs of locals, they tolerated the citizens of the defeated NCR. Revitalized by Violetta's brain, Rex eventually learned to balance the memories of his old life with Violetta's experiences among the brutal fiends. Aww. His mind had difficulty adjusting, but Rex eventually found peace with his new, more vicious self. Though Novak was a low-priority target for the Legion, many of Novak's citizens died in its defense. In the weeks that followed, several bright followers returned to Novak to help restore its defenses, allowing it to remain independent of NCR. Armed with a wide array of improvised explosives and stolen weapons, the Vault 19 powder gang tormented the Mojave Wasteland for years. Mm. Citizens of the NCR were favorite targets, and they always suffered the worst fates. Prim Slim proves to be an able-minded, if not able-bodied, sheriff for Prim. And due to his slow speed, some crooks get away without a scratch. But Prim continues to prosper under his watchful robotic eye. Oh, cool. And so the courier's road came to an end, for now. In the new world of the Mojave Wasteland, fighting continued, blood was spilled, and many lived and died just as they had in the old world. Because war, war never changes. And ladies and gentlemen, that is Fallout New Vegas. Thank you all for joining me. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Boom. Boom. Goodbye, YouTube.